Rosie Bird, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, I have a big focus of trying to collect as many materials as I can so that we can build some more of these houses. I've gotten the plot set up, but I need to really just get going with getting them all figured out so that we can actually, of course, uh, have more villagers move in, because we only have Biff and Pashmina, and while they're awesome, the more the merrier. So we have plot number three here. We might as well work on that, I guess. Actually, we should work on plot number one, um, because I think that is, well, actually, I don't know. One of them has like a wreath that we already have made, so if I could just be one step closer, that'd be great. Um, it wasn't this one. I'm pretty sure it's plot number one that has uh, the wreath. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're gonna go and check out plot number one, which I believe is, no, okay, over this way. Um, yeah, right here, okay. So what we're main goal today's episode is getting this prepared. If we can get the other two prepared as well, that's awesome, but this is the big one. To all construction helpers, please submit items for this building following the specified procedures. So we need, in the interior, we need an orange wall-mounted clock, an orange end table, and a pot. So I'm going to probably write these down in a moment, but let me just also see what they have for the exterior. Um, check exterior items. Stone stool, stone table, and the clothes line. So my goal is just to make all of that and hopefully things go well. So I have all that written down. I'm just basically gonna go back to my house now and just see what of those things I can craft. Oh, look at Biff sitting out of the tree. Yo, you wanna sit here? Sorry, my legs are so tired from my last workout. I couldn't get up if I wanted to. That's okay, I don't think I can move you. <laughs> and I don't wanna want to. You can enjoy that spot. I'm fine with that. Sit back over at the house. I'll see all those different things. Hopefully they're all available in the crafting bench because if not, I don't know how to get them. Um, Let's craft. And we're first looking for, you know, there's different house. Well, here's the clothesline. For that, we need tree branches, probably more than what I currently have. So more tree branches are definitely necessary. On top of that, the stone tool, a stone stool, a stone table, that might be outside. Here's a stone table, here's a stone stool. Three and then eight. So we need 11 stone pieces. So that's gonna be it for the outside exterior. So 11 sticks, 11 stones. Let's see if we have that. I think I definitely should have the stones. If not, we might have to go to some islands to search for some stuff in today's episode. Um, but for right now, uh, let's go to storage and make sure everything's nice and sorted. See what we got. Here is the, no, that's clay, not stones. That's fine. Well, actually, I don't know how this is exactly organized. Let's change it around a little bit. This is by type, here we go. Um, so, actually the 22 stones here is perfect. We have seven uh, tree branches. I'll need to get more, because that means we have nine in total. I need to find two more, because I don't think we can get any out of shaking the trees. They just sort of are on the floor. But I will shake a few trees to see if we get any. Uh, like this one. Oh no, we can sometimes, just not super often. You gotta be careful too, you never wanna get stung by anything. Uh, maybe I should get my net ready just in case that happens. Okay, so far so good. Also, I think one of our daily goals, no, I'm not ready to wrap things up, I just got started. Um, was one of my daily goals to, uh, oh my gosh, I'm pressing every single wrong button, uh, to catch a Darner Dragonfly, because I just saw one over there. Yep, there he is. Let's see if we can't get him while the opportunity is there. Oh, he is all over the place though. They they fly quick. Oh, they fly so quick. My chances might be low. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Got him, nice, that, that sort of lined up perfectly. Uh, I called a darn a dragonfly, better watch his mouth. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a couple more sticks because I want to be able to have some uh, amount of backup. So I just do three shakes per tree. I don't want to risk any more than that, but Let's also make sure we get this out of the way. Have over 8,000 miles now, sell fruit. I'll do that soon. Not super duper focused on miles in today's episode, but I know that the, the Darna Dragonfly is not always around all the time, so I wanted to make the most of that. Okay, there's one more stick. I think I'll leave it like that for now. We'll get back across, whoop. Oh, I hear a present. I definitely want to take that opportunity because that'll come and go pretty quick. Uh, there it is. Right here? No, no. Uh, I'm a bit off. 
There it is. So it's another air egg, very cool. We also need to get some wooden eggs so we can get those other trees. Not gonna worry about it for the moment. We're gonna go and craft. So, yep, I definitely want you to craft something. If you go over to, no, okay, we're already at the spot we need to be. So I need to craft a stone table. Yep, just like that. So that is item number one. So we should be able to get the exterior nice and finished, uh, definitely. The interior, though, I haven't even really checked. So here's a stone stool. I could have taken my own, but I, I like mine, so <laughs> I'll just make them a new one. And then finally, um, the clothes line, which was up this way. Still craftable, and we'll have seven left over. I definitely have to go collecting more of them soon, but for now, I made a clothesline. Uh, so let's keep crafting, because I do need to see what else we need. Uh, so, what was it? We need a pot. That's a p frying pan, pot right here. That needs clay, we do have clay, so I'll get five clay in a moment, I think. Uh, orange end table. Here's an orange wall-mounted clock, so that would be oranges and wood. And then lastly, the orange end table. Where would that be? Oh, here it is. So that would also be 10 more oranges, four more wood. So I think we need to get some fruit then. <laughs> I don't think we have enough fruit at this exact moment, but we can definitely get some, no problem. That'll already be six of them. We'll hop over and try to get some more, because we'll need like, what, 20 oranges? And now might be a great time to also collect some fruit. Yeah, I guess I should do it that way, because, uh, not fruit, but uh, wood. Because this will make all the fruit fall, and will get us the wood. Because I need to collect 10 wood for a, uh, a Nook Miles. And if we can get some, yep, some wood eggs like that, that's perfect. Is there a uh, wood behind this tree? I don't think so. Over this way, one, two, three. And we'll just grab some of this. Then over this way, this is what I mean. We can do that, we get an egg out of it, we get some wood. So there we go, there's that challenge done. And on top of that, I think, enough oranges? Actually, no, that's only nine of them. I need 10 or 20, right? So I got a good chunk to go. We'll keep chopping up these trees. I think I'll have to jump across the, the river to get more. But hey, before we get too crazy with that, Nook Miles right over this way. Uh, right, th right there, awesome. And that already has us pretty far along. Is this an orange tree? It is. This area's a little bit crowded, so I wouldn't mind actually knocking this tree down so we can get that other challenge done. All righty, one, two, three. Awesome, get all sorts of stuff for it. And that leaves a tree stump out and about, which we don't have too many of those at the moment, so that's good. So there we go, another Nook Miles done. Just trying to multitask as much as possible. It can be a di bit difficult to manage, but we can do it. And then catching fish, which I will do, just not right now. Back over to the stone axe. One, two, three. This is the most we can get. I'm definitely getting some eggs for this, so that's good. And like I said, now might be the best time just to jump across the river, get some stuff done over here. Whoa, what was that bug over there? Oh wow, very colorful. Definitely don't have this one. There's also another dragonfly. Wow, he's like changing colors. He's like shining in the sun. Got it, awesome. So what is this? Tiger beetle, oh no, we already have this. It just looked a little different. And I see those over there. All right, I'm, I'm going over there. Just give me a sec. There we go, faulting pole. Whoop. Oh, is it gonna be up there? Okay, no it's not, no it's not. But we gotta quickly, no. Got it, nice, okay. Shake this stuff up a little bit. Oranges. Oh yeah, I need to change back to the stone axe. So that we can make the most of potentially getting eggs. Oh, this one doesn't have anything. Interesting. So how are we doing with oranges? About to get two more, so we have over 20 now, perfect. I do need to sell some fruits. Maybe I'll get one more fruit tree worth of stuff if I can find one right over this way. One, two, and three. Keep on picking up the weeds when I don't mean to. <laughs> and I have to sell those eventually as well. I'm sure that the uh, challenge for that will pop up sooner or later. But hey, for right now, don't have to worry about it. There's another dragonfly. Oh. 
so that should be just about good enough. What was the, oh, I needed clay, didn't I? Um, so let's just go into our house and grab that now. Because I think the only thing else that needed was wood, right, for the uh, orange end tables, which we should have plenty of now, so I don't have to worry about that either. It's just clay I need. Uh, so, go into our inventory. Clay is right here. Move to pockets, perfect. Okay, and with that, we should have all the materials for the first house already. We sort of zoomed through that. I'm happy about it. Uh, but let's find out. Before we say that, let's make extra sure. So we need the pot and the two orange end tables. Let's craft. So here's the orange end table. Needed wood and 10 oranges. Crafting it up. Thank you very much. I made an orange end table. Keep crafting. We're not done. Because if we go over this way, we have the pot for five clay. Doing lots of crafting in today's episode, that's really fun. Keep crafting. And orange wall-mounted clock. So I don't know for which villager this is, but they really like oranges. That's cool, they're moving to the right place. Uh, so that's actually everything for right now. We'll have to see later, there's maybe more. But as you can see, our inventory is quite filled up. I'm just going to leave most of it be and just go right to where we need to be. Don't want to dilly-dally too much with it. Or I'll find a thousand reasons to get distracted. So this is number two. We're looking for number one. Also, I might want one, one more uh, set of oranges because I think I only I don't have quite five of them until there. Uh, so now I have five of them. Uh, getaway package plot one. To all construction helpers, please submit the items. Check the interior items. So yep, submit items. Uh, got it, got it, and got it. Perfect. Uh, I turned in three items. All the required interior items are ready for this home. And exterior items, stone stool, stone table, clothesline. Wait, yeah, I have those. Oh, do I just have to place them out here? I think so. Uh, so, stone table. I don't know how much room I get, so I'm trying to keep it pretty simple. Um, and maybe we can move it later, if need be. Stone stool, I might have to change my position a little bit, just like that. Got it. And then clothesline, we'll, we'll put that on the side for sure. Nice, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, so like, if you check the interior items, we got the check mark for all three of those. But, oh, all the uh, interior and exterior items are ready to go. Let me just make extra sure though. Check exterior items, check, check, check. Got it. So there's that one. We can start working on some of the others now, very exciting, but before we do, maybe it might be time to organize our inventory a bit, sell off um, the bugs we have here that we don't need. Uh, pick up a sticker too. Do I hear another? I definitely do. Oh, okay, it's over that way. Just trying to get a good view of everything. Will that make its way across the river? Not quite, at least not yet. Uh, there we go. And will this be a present? I guess it will be. Um, so what's inside of here? Open it up. A bunny day stool. Learning lots of DIY recipes. Sweet, I learned a, a DIY recipe for a bunny day stool. So we're gonna go over this way. And like I said, there's at least a couple of bugs to sell. I need to sell a few of the, actually I don't sell things here. That's right, whoops. <laughs> All right, see you Tom Nook. Actually, no, he wants to talk to me. Okay, perfect timing then. Ah, zebra, hello, hello. So, how's it goes? It progressing nicely with the plots and the homes and the furnishings and whatnot? It's all going smoothly. Wonderful, that's what I like to hear. As you finish your part, I'll get started on home construction and welcoming our new residents. I vow to get this done quickly and to get it done right. Why, if all goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island, the island know about folks moving in or out during my island broadcasts. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post the info on the sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. I sort of wanted to be a surprise. Anywho, keep up the good work. So, uh, I guess there's not really too much I have to do in here. But thank you for the info, Tom Nook. I appreciate it. Good to know that uh, we are going to get a new villager potentially tomorrow. That'll be cool. Uh, so for right now, go to the shop and definitely sell a couple of things. Uh, we, we're still just gonna continue to chip away at crafting things, earning materials to craft more things. Uh, that's gonna be the main goal for today's episode. Zebra, welcome, welcome, what do you need today? I need to sell. 
Of course, what exactly are you offering? So, we are offering a Darna Dragonfly, 10 oranges, and a Tiger Beetle. Not much, but still worth doing. 2,730 bells, you got it. All right, not bad. I think that the Dragonfly probably sold for a lot there then. Uh, so we got another Nook daily mission done, or may I say daily mission, they never end. So I guess it's more of just Nook Miles plus missions, you know what I mean. Uh, there we go, get that, and redeem Nook Miles, we'll do that soon enough, just not now. Soon enough we're gonna buy everything in the shop and there'll only be uh, tickets, or yeah, like island tickets left to spend. So what I need to do now though, I mean I guess I'll put some stuff away in the inventory. I probably don't want to put away the basic materials because of the fact that I'll probably just have to pull them back out again if we're working on house number two. So that's where I just have to sort of figure some things out. Um, I can definitely put the eggs away though. So put in storage, we have four of the wood eggs, happy about that. Definitely don't need the clumps of weeds out right now. And then I'll just organize this a tad, perfect. So, let me get back to the second house, we'll figure out what we need, and we'll move forward. So I wrote down all of the items we need, both for number two and number three. Oh, hey, Biff wants something. What's up, Biff? Check it out! I was doing some, I was out doing some stretches and found a DIY recipe for a bunny day crown. Here, I made you a copy. Oh, thank you, so we get another bunny day thing. Awesome, I'm going to have to like check a list to make sure I get everything. Can the eggs taste so good if it's hard to, st to stop myself? I'm glad we can use them in a DIY or I'd be in trouble. I wonder if there's uh, there are other recipes like this. Hey, if I find any more, I'll let you know, Squirt. Thank you, I appreciate it. So right here, we get um, the bunny day crown. So is this like an item that we can wear? And there is another uh, egg thing over that way, so I wanna get to that quick, because it is moving pretty fast over there. Quite the gust of wind at the moment. Very windy spring day, I suppose. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, yeah, I got it, it's just another egg. But I definitely need it. Did I pick it up? I think I did. Yeah, it looks like it. So, let's go over this way and try to figure out all of the different stuff we need. Starting with box number two, I already got the high count of three, and I've already deposited The other one I have is just extra. I could give it away, I could sell it. Uh, let's craft. So wooden block table is the first thing. Um, so where would that be? Wooden block table right here, that just requires a wooden block toy and eight softwood. Where's wooden block toy? Hmm. I might just have to order it like this. Uh, let's sort by alphabetical. Actually, alphabetical would work, right? So here's wooden block toy, and then there's wooden block table, which requires the toy and softwood, and then also the stereo, which requires the toy, softwood, and iron nuggets. Um, so we definitely need a lot more softwood than what we currently have on our on our person, but that's fine. Right now we'll do uh, the toy. I want to do another one, so we have exactly enough softwood to do that, so that's cool. Keep crafting, and craft another one. So that's pretty lucky. And we should have more softwood. But I'll also need iron nuggets, which I have some, not on me right now, but I can definitely get some, I do have some available. So yeah, we're just sort of chipping away with all that, and then after that, I'm probably going to need the iron nuggets out anyways, because we have things like the iron garden chair to worry about. Um, so go to our inventory, we have some iron nuggets here, move the pockets, move the pockets, and then the softwood, 24 of them. So this is why it's worth uh, earning stuff up every single day, because you never know when you might need a bunch of it. Uh, and I'm trying, I'm trying my best. There's just always so much to do in the game. So, going over this way, let's get back to crafting all of that stuff. Let's craft. So we're right here at the wooden toy block. Now we can make the uh, table. Thank you. One block table, because that required eight softwood. So that was like a third of our softwood. And then the stereo which requires five, not as much. And two iron nuggets, which should be good. So that is all the interior out of the way. Now we just have to worry about the exterior, which is starting with the iron garden chair. Uh, now where would that be? Well, if it's all alphabetical, I know that it should be E F G H I. Oh yeah, right here, it's green. I was looking for something like this color, but I guess it's like it's green iron. So we need the iron garden chair, which is just iron nuggets. Okay, got it. I wonder if we ever get like a furnace or an anvil or something, probably not. And then now the garden table right next to that, which is going to be five iron nuggets. Still expensive, not as much as we need for like softwood, but still a little bit tough to get. And then lastly, a birdhouse, which we've made for ourselves at some point, so 
we know all about it. Birdhouse, it just, oh, it needs more normal wood. Okay, well, I should be able to get that quite easily. I don't know if I need to storm into my house right now. There we go. Is that soft wood or normal wood? Uh, I think that was soft wood. Yeah, okay. So actually I didn't get any uh, normal wood out of that, but that's fine. Trying to get ready for this. It's definitely going to be something bunny day related. Oh no, oh, oh. Okay, I'm a little bit too far forward. There it is, another air egg. And we also have some Nook Miles, not some Nook Miles Plus, but just normal Nook Miles growing collection. You are aware that furniture and clothing you buy is added to your Nook shopping catalog, yes? Uh, were you also aware that you can earn miles for a large catalog? Well, you certainly are aware now. So we have 100 things in our catalog, so I guess we can buy whatever we make? No, okay, we can repurchase things. Whatever we make and whatever we buy, I guess gets added to a catalog, which we can then repurchase from. That's interesting. So I'm just looking for one more piece of normal wood. So I wonder how long it's gonna hold out on me. I hear another uh, balloon. I don't see it yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> They're everywhere right now. So let's vault over. Whoop. Oh, it's over the water right now. So I guess we didn't need to do that. But it's another egg one. These are just worth getting every chance we can now. Now. No! There it is, it's another egg. We need a lot of them, so. One step at a time, right? Still no normal wood. <laughs> They're holding out on me right now. Maybe a normal tree would be better. There we go. I could have just gone into my house and done all that, of course, but. You know what, I needed to do all that anyways. I'll probably need more wood soon enough. So, back to it. We just need to make the birdhouse. Let's craft. Yep. Let's craft that birdhouse. Once again, I could have taken my own and give it to them, but I like my birdhouse. So that is everything for house number two. So I could just keep crafting for house number three, but I'd rather, you know, sort of get this figured out for right now. But I'm super excited, we're on path, or on pace, to get all of this done in today's video. That would be awesome. And I just don't have to worry about it, we can enjoy more villagers moving in and stuff. Let's try this out, so. Get away, construction plot, interior items, I should have all two of them that we need. Boop, boop, got it. I turned in my two items. So, with the exterior, we have the iron garden table. I'm gonna do a similar setup as I did with their neighbor's stone stuff. Maybe I could turn this a little bit, just like that. What if I pushed it? There we go, look at that, looks good. And then over this way, I might wanna chop down this tree. It's just a little bit in the way. Oh, we get some stuff out of it though. That's good. Maybe we could leave the stump for a bit of character. And just over this way, I need to place the birdhouse. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Okay, stop that. Just wanna push it down a little bit. Just like that. Excellent, so this house should be good, but we should double check. Uh, we already know the interior is good, but the exterior, yep, check, check, check. So now it is good just to focus on house number three. Wow, can't believe how well this has been going. So vaulting pole, whoop. And for this one, I already have it written down what we need, so we're just gonna go and check for right now. Maybe we can make some of it right away, maybe not. So the first thing is the wooden uh, simple bed. So if this is alphabetical, I'm gonna to wanna to go all the way down. Wooden simple bed right here. Uh, that requires 18 wood, so I'm gonna to have to go into the house for that one. And we also have the wooden simple chair, six wood, so on normal wood for that. And then the classic pitcher. The classic picture is where? Right here. And that requires clay, so we can make this one right off the bat. Okay. And I hear another thing that I can hit the slingshot with. It's right over our heads too, or it's about to be. I'm gonna get ya. Hi, wait, no. Hiya. There it is. <laughs> so many sky eggs. Perfect. So let's see how much wood we can get. We need to just get it all out. Hopefully we have the 20 something we'll likely need because it's very demanding. Uh, so yeah, no we don't. So let's move this to our pockets, but 
I'm going to have to go chopping some more trees. We should do that across the river northbound because uh, there's a lot of trees that I haven't poked around with for a while, so that should be good, but man, that's gonna take us a minute. So maybe I should look at the other options as well. But I should make extra sure if there's anything I can craft with that that I do it. Yeah, so that one requires 18, this one requires six. So in total, we need 24 um, pieces of wood, of normal wood. That is gonna take a minute. But hey, now is a better time than ever just to get started with it. Let's get our stone axe out here. We can also grab a couple. Oh, nice, I'm getting lucky with it. We get three of them right off the bat. But we can also get some oranges, which is always good to see. Because you would think normal wood would be the most common type of wood, but I get hardwood a lot more, it seems. I mean, this time, we get the even mixture of all three of them. That's good. But I definitely need to make it a little bit more of a daily venture to make sure I get wood for situations like these. Well, these kind of situations don't happen too often. And this is definitely like a darker type of tree, so it makes sense that I get more dark wood out of it. There we go, we get another wooden egg. Oh, there's another darner dragonfly. I'll have to worry about it later. That was good. So I just, I don't wanna stop until I've poked at every tree around here, really. Just gotta keep at it. Another egg. Luckily, we've bolstered our egg collection in today's episode by quite a bit so far. I definitely have a lot more to go. But we also have, I mean, I'm recording this on April 1st, still just like last episode. We still have, uh, you know, 12 days in total to do everything. So we have lots of time. I'm not too stressed about it. I just don't want to dilly-dally because the more time that I do, the more time I procrastinate, the more time that could sneak up on me and then I am rushing, just like with the fish situation. Planned on trying to record an episode getting more fish in March. On the last day of March, I didn't feel well, so I couldn't do it because I didn't do it sooner. I mean, I've been busy. I have good reasons, but you know, it's that's why it's good to take the opportunity now if I haven't, which I do. Okay, so with all of this, what am I at with my normal wood? I'm at 20, so I need at least four more. If I could go out of my way to get a couple more than that too, it might be in my best interest. So I'll just keep chopping at whatever trees. Uh, I, if I made good use of this, of the eggs patterning, oh, I've got some DIY recipe ideas. So I guess we just got some by collecting a lot of those eggs. That's awesome, actually. Wonder how many of those we can get. There we go. What's, oh no, there it goes. Darn, so I'll have to go and make another one. Sort of a pain, but hey, it is what it is. I should take this opportunity to shake some stuff. Ooh, got some money out of it. What about this one? All right. Because I'm just trying to get whatever sticks I can so that we can make an ax. Uh, grab that tree branch. There's a couple more. See, so lots of uh, gathering in today's episode and lots of crafting as well. It's fun because we don't do this amount of crafting, like this frequency of it, every episode, so it's a little bit different. And then this last tree over here. I hear another uh, balloon coming in. Okay, I'm ready for this one. Yeah, I'm getting more use out of my slingshot than ever. Actually, I'm not ready for this one. It's directly over the water, and it will be for a minute. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, it's going to keep going this way, correct? Maybe I can make the most of my time by crafting some stuff. So for right now, I need to craft a ax uh, right over this way. Just a normal flimsy ax. And then with that, I need to use an iron nugget to upgrade it to a stone ax. Actually, I don't know if I need an iron nugget for that. We're gonna find out. Um, right down this way. Nope, I just need a flimsy ax and some wood. Cool, very sustainable. Okay, so I do have enough to keep crafting if I wanted to make the the wooden uh, simple bed. I can afford that, but then I'm going to need, I think, four more pieces? No, six more pieces. Let's, let's double check. For the chair over here. Uh, six, yeah. Well, for right now, time for the slingshot. Got it. And now we should be good to just get back to it. Was that a present actually? No, it was an egg, I guess. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just sort of going through the uh, the habit of it, you know? 
So the ones with fruit on them definitely should have some wood. There we go. So there's our first of six that I gotta find. Okay. One, two, and three. Yeah, these definitely give a whole lot more dark wood. So that's only our like our second piece right there. So we just gotta keep working on it. And luckily we should be building vast collections of our dark and soft wood in this meantime. So that's also good. It's weird that it's dark wood and it's not light wood, you know? Soft wood. No, it is hardwood. I don't know why, okay. That's just me being a dingus then. I thought it was called dark wood this whole time. I mean, it is a darker color. So I'm not wrong, but it's not its name. Silly me. Yeah, these trees just definitely don't give normal wood as much. But they're sort of the only trees around at the moment. There should be one down this way. I know this used to be a money tree, not any longer. I hear another one. But where? It doesn't seem like they come in from the right anymore. I guess it really just depends on the wind of the day, but sometimes they will. Ah, uh, not quite getting you. One more time. Got it. He is just following me around now, just walking around like that. Hello. Uh, hippity ho, what do you know? Bunny day is April 12th. I promise to bounce right on back to this island on that wonderful, wonderful day. In the meantime, Skipper, don't tell anyone you ran into old Zipper. Okay, so I've already talked to you about that. No, I didn't want to do that. Instead, what I wanted to do, I hear another one coming down now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it never ends. Let's get more of this stuff. Is that a butterfly I've never caught over there? Oh, it looks like it. Wow, that's a pretty one. Always trying to keep my eye out for that. Whoop! Wow, what is this? Look at the colors. Yes! I caught a Madagascan sunset moth. It's not even a butterfly, it's a moth. Wow, you're not from around here. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, is it Madagascar like a big island? I mean, I guess technically every continent is a big island. Anyways, uh, got it. And let's see, over this way, we got a couple more things. No normal wood out of that, darn. It's weird, you'd think that would be the most common type of wood but you'd be surprised. Let's get some of this. So I'm getting closer. I have four. This will be my fifth one right here, unless there was one back here. I don't know what that was. Nope, it was not normal wood. So now I have five. I just need one more. <laughs> the problem also, though, is that I'll be fresh out. I'll have to get more at some point for something, I'm sure. Have we done this one? Not recently. There it is, all right. Took a lot of hard work. I'll have to get back at it again at some point, but for right now, we're good to go. So you know what, while we're here, let's go to Blathers and deliver this uh, one moth that we found, the Madagascan moth, because, you know, I don't want to forget and accidentally sell it. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, so, just gonna skip all this. Don't mind me. And there it is, Madagascan Sunset Moth. Hope you enjoy it. Actually, I wanna hear what he has to say about this one, because it's a really pretty one. Uh, ah, I see, in that case. <clears throat> the Madagascan Sunset Moth is said to be the most beautiful moth in the world, a sentiment even I can't deny. While most moths are nocturnal, this one flutters about during the day, making good use of the light. That is, when the daylight reflects off its wings, a kaleidoscope of colors are revealed. Oh, uh, too bad it is such a startling red feet. Uh, uh, it has such startling red feet as, as, as a caterpillar. I might have found it almost tolerable otherwise. <laughs> it looks so astute, almost, but not quite. All right then. There's that. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm gonna leave you like that though. Uh, one more bug for the collection. Happy to see it. So with that done, Let's run back out. And I think we're good to start crafting again. <laughs> so we made that one table. We now need to craft a, well not table, it was a bed. Um, the chair. Cause it's just normal wood, it's nothing else. But there we go. So we got the bed and the chair figured out. 
Now we have to do the log dining table, um, which is over this way. Log dining table, hardwood. You got it. I got plenty of those, but it's 15, so it's still very costly. I made a log dining table, and then a log bench, and then a wooden bucket. So log bench is right here. Only five of them, we got it. Okay, with this, this will be the third house completed. Super duper exciting, unless this bucket needs normal wood, then I'm not quite done. Uh, so, I've got more egg stuff. <laughs> um, hmm. So this should be alphabetical. So where is the bucket at? Did I pass it? Bonfire, bunny day, so it should be there. Well, it's a wooden bucket, okay, that's my mistake. Uh, I do need normal wood, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So let's go and try to find some. Yeah, this tree's not gonna give me much. I think that on the south end of the bridge, and maybe a couple of these. So what did we need, like five of them? I think we needed three. Maybe I should get five, just to be sure. That might take me a minute, because once again, they just don't give it to you. There's a little bit more. I think I'm up to two now. And I'm glad we're getting a lot of wooden eggs at the least. But I still just need so much more of everything. Have I hit this rock yet? Yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> just trying to make sure of everything. There's another one. I can't quite see what we got for that one. But well, hopefully it was good. I mean, no matter what, it's a little extra wood. Probably wanna chop this tree down. Not now, though. Some other time. Hey, Biff. He said, did you say you're gonna knock down my tree? No, no. Your tree is fine as long as you want it there. Okay, so I think that might be our fifth one. Yep, it will be. I might have to sell some fruit. So going back up here, uh, well actually, if I don't have any other inventory space, which I don't, well we could put some of the eggs away. Organize our inventory, because this should be the last of the major crafting we need to do. And then we can deliver this stuff. How awesome is that? So all three houses will be built, which means eventually we'll have new villagers moving in, which will be so exciting. Because I think, I don't think they can all move in on the same day. I think that's what uh, Tom Nook was alluding to. Uh, put in storage, softwood, uh, iron nuggets, some eggs over this way. So lots of stuff. Oh, I never opened this up. What is this? Present, open, bunny day flooring. I thought we already had that. I don't know. So let's learn it real fast. Learn. No, I think we had the Bunny Day wallpaper. Sweet, I learned the DIY recipe for the Bunny Day flooring. Cool. So let's head back out and see what other stuff we can figure out together. Because we have not made the bucket yet. Gotta do that. It should be the first thing that shows up because it was the last thing I was on before. Luckily, it does that. It doesn't start you back at the beginning. Oh, I'm such a dingus, I just put it all away. All right, so I made the wooden bucket. I forgot the talk while I was doing it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but we should be good. Right, this is house number two, so we're all clear for that one. House number three is the one you run into first, oddly enough, right over here. All right then, getaway package plot number three, construction box. First, let's do the interior. Um, got all the wooden stuff and the pitcher. You got it. Super duper exciting. And then now for the exterior. So for the exterior, we remember we have the wooden bucket, log dining table, and log bench. So we're just gonna keep the same feel to it. Um, I'm gonna put this away because I sorta of messed that up. So I, I might wanna revise this at some point because it is a little bit crowded off the bridge. Um, for right now, my goal is just to set everything up. Then we can sort of, we can channel our inner in exterior decorator after that. There we go, can that fit in there? Yeah, this thing's bulky, which is fine. Oh, there's some weeds in the way. No, not what I wanted. I might have to sort of mix this up a little bit. I might actually have to, because I feel like it's gonna go out too far and the log bench isn't gonna count. So maybe we could just do this, keep pushing, keep pushing. A little bit more, got it. And then from here, do the log bench. Perfect, and let's push that right up to it. And then on the other side, do a little bucket, because that's what they wanted. Place item. Cool, not too bad. So let's see, will that give me the check mark? I sure hope so, because I don't know how I'm going to get it any closer. 
Yep, check, check, check. So everything is good for, wait, this means all the home and furnishing prep work is done. Awesome, I'm so happy about that. We have this big fish waiting for me. I just, I've been seeing it. I do wanna do that. If there's one last thing I wanna do in today's episode after talking to Tom Nook, it's going to be fishing so that we can get the uh, Nook P Miles Plus mission done. Maybe run into a new fish or two, that'd be awesome. Got it. It's an egg, <laughs> not a fish. I need a fish, but you know what, I, I do appreciate the eggs. So we'll keep looking around for that as we make our way over to the Tom Nook. I mean, if I wanna get to Tom Nook, I'm gonna to have to go. Oh, oh, hey, Biff. I've got something for you, an Imperial Low Table. Really? I appreciate it. Uh, I found a bunch of these when I was cleaning house last night. Kind of superstitious about stuff like this, so enjoy. Hopefully they aren't haunted or anything. So you were just cleaning your house and you found a bunch of Imperial Low Tables. Oh, that's actually really nice. I thought it was gonna be like made of metal. I didn't really know the term Imperial too much. Uh, interesting, so I, I might actually take a look at that. Is this a different kind of locust? No, I think it's the same, but it's just from this angle, it looks a little weird. Gotcha. So we got another long locust. So let's talk to Tom Nook. I wanna see if he has anything to say about the new house uh, setups, all three of them, all in one episode too. I mean, I, I had one high cam three th ready, so but besides that, most of it was all done in today's episode. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. How have things been going since we last spoke? Are you close to finishing the plots and furniture? Everything's finished. Goodness, really? Thank you so much for all of your hard work. That means the rest is up to me. I'll get started on home construction right away so we can welcome our new island residents. I vow to get this done quickly and to get it done right. Why, if all goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. You've already said all this, okay. By the way, upon landing in the island, know about folks moving in or out of the during the island broadcasts. Uh, okay, so pretty cool, and that's that, my friend. You have finished everything I asked of you. Ah, let me give you a token of my appreciation as promised. What is it gonna be? Yes, yes, this is for you. Oh, it's some fencing. You could surround your home or create a yard, uh, or to create a yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easier for you to create yards or parks or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes all here on Stripe. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wood fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future, I'll offer DIY fencing recipes so you can get re you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. The selection will change daily and will offer a variety of designs. Check the Nook, st the Nook stop sometime, hmm? I definitely wanna get all of my options available to me, so I'll have to keep doing that. Well, I couldn't have done this without you, Zebra. That's for certain. Very happy about the wooden fencing then. Don't know what the little transition was about, but okay. I want to see if any of those are available right now. Um, so redeeming Nook Miles. Yeah, look at this. We have bamboo fence and brick fencing. So this is just for the DIY, not to actually have it. A thousand miles, definitely worth it. Any kind of permanent upgrade I can get from the Nook Miles, I want to prioritize because, like with the tickets or anything consumable, that's limited time. I only use it once and then it's gone. Or with the items, I can get this anytime. Uh, so. Got that. I, it's weird that I can buy it again. Like, I only need one recipe. Maybe that's for if there's vis visitors to my town that maybe wanna get it, I guess. Anyways, we get the brick fence. Cause how am I supposed to know whether I have it or not? I guess I'll just have to double check. Uh, Well, there we go. Nope, that's it for now. So 2,000 miles well spent if you ask me. Uh, And here they are, so bamboo lattice fence. Huh, okay, sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a bamboo lattice fence, and then also for the brick fence. And I don't know if I'll be using any of these, at least not right now. I could definitely see some cool ideas for the uh, brick fence though. And there we go, spent 500 miles, get 200 miles for it. So we just got like a 200 mile discount, basically. So with all of that out of the way, I still have all of these oranges to donate and stuff, and what is this, the Imperial Low Table? Maybe I want to set that up by our house. We'll have to wait and see. For right now, I did want to do some fencing stuff for sure, but I'm a bit worried. Can I dig up flowers? Maybe I should try by digging up these ones because I feel like they're sort of growing. I don't remember putting this here. There we go, so we can move that. Perfect. I want to change some things up then. Um, I want to move these one space out 
Because I think eventually we're able to make like little footpaths, which will be awesome. Because I want the flowers to be outside of the fence. I think that would look prettier. But luckily, since I can dig all these up, I can decide that later. Um, there we go. And then just these two. Or at least I can change my mind at any time. I can decide now, change it later. There we go. So, let's get the simple wooden fencing. Build fence. Oh wow, this is interesting. Oh wow. I wish they were white. How I want the classic white picket fence, you know? <laughs> so what if I put this here, will, will it connect? Yeah, well look at that, that's awesome. See, just something like that. So it's just like, good morning world. Maybe I'll put a little something here if I can fit it. I don't know what I would, <laughs> not, not a table. Um, We'll decide later. I think I'll do one more right here. That is so fun. I really like that. And then let's get the flowers back out. Uh, plant. Perfect. I mean, maybe I just want to start with them here. We'll have to see. I'm not the best decorator. I try my best, but I definitely <laughs> need some practice. Got it. Yeah, some of these still need to grow. We'll water them after we're done here. Just like that, and just like this. So I guess we'll keep going down this way. One more down like this, and that's all of them. So let's get to watering at least the ones that are in need of watering. So we got this one. I don't know if that got that other one over there. It didn't, so gotta make the most of that. But it has been fun just sort of figuring things out. Lots of crafting in today's episode, material gathering for all of that as well. Very, very cool. So going into here, what else do we got going on? At this point, I'm still you know collecting eggs and stuff. I'm thinking what we should do, because I know I said I might want to try to craft some egg stuff later. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll continue to save up our eggs until the 12th, and then we'll get a big crafting spree at that point for right now. Um, put everything I can that I want in storage back into storage. So uh, the clumps of weeds. Uh, I think I'll put the simple wooden fencing away in there now. Um, so the the low table. Oh wow, I didn't see the legs before. And I didn't mean to just put this on the floor. Uh, I didn't see the legs before. I don't know if I'm super wild about that. It's just a little bulky. I mean, I guess it's better than this table. So you know what? I think we'll make a little exchange here. And uh, Imperial Low Table, place the item. That's at least a little bit better. Uh, can I place the table on top? Ah, oh, I just want a giant stack of tables. <laughs> like it's a wrestling match. Uh, okay, let's organize this because this isn't quite right. It's weird that like I can't put it the way I want to. Like I have to go into this mode. Whoa, uh, there we go. Go into my pockets. Oh, that's actually very, very useful. And switch this around properly. Not bad. I wish it was a lighter brown to match with everything else, but that definitely fits a little bit more. <laughs> well, actually that matches perfectly with the table idea. Should we have a pro wrestling room? I don't know, I don't think we can stack tables though, so unfortunately it won't quite work out that way. But let's go and sell some stuff, and then I think I'll be all finished for today's episode. I had a lot of fun, wish I could have done more fishing, but I gotta finish at some point. Actually, let's talk to Pashmina. You don't mind me bothering you while you're fishing. Wow, my heart's really racing, I hope this fish can't hear it. Okay, she's busy. Let's not pass to her. Uh, oh, oh, wrong way. No, I don't want to water the door. Maybe this will make Nook's cranny grow larger. I wonder if we can, come on now. Uh, let me just put it away. I wonder if we can uh, upgrade Nook's cranny at some point, because I think that's something you can do in the other games, is upgrade the shop. I'll have to wait and see. Hey, buddies. So I would like to sell. I am offering a long locust, an outdoor table, and a bunch of oranges. Here you go. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Let me just a moment to run the numbers, and done. 4,050, pretty good price. So I definitely wanna put some of that away right now, um, but we got ourselves more Nook Miles. Right over this way, pick it the bunch. Oh, the fruit you've sold. So we've sold 129 fruit, we need to sell 500. That is a ton, 500 at some point. I'll have to get to that. 
I need to go to an island and get a coconut. I thought I'd already done that, but maybe I didn't. I'd like to, you know, grow a palm tree and get some coconuts out of it. But for right now, I think that we'll go to Nook's tent right over this way. And we will just real quickly um, put some money away in the bank and then be all finished up so that we can continue to gain some interest. Actually, I wanna see what he'll say if I say what's next. A, B, D. I might as well deposit all of it um, because that'll be all I'm playing, all I'm done playing for today. So it'll give me more money to stack up interest with. Uh, and let's talk to you over here. Ah, oh, Zebra, hello, hello. Would you like to talk to me about them all ears? What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. We've done everything to get the homes ready for the new residents, so nothing springs to mind right now. I promise to do my part to welcome the new residents as soon as possible. By the way, upon along the island know about folks. Yep, you've already told me. Uh, once I know who, yep, yep, yep. So, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.